they're like general principles i think uh and the interesting part is that it's only about mimicking nature and observation so if you look at a forest it has all those 10 principles um happening all the time right so um first it's coming down from the pedestal uh acknowledging that we are not the most intelligent species but that we are part of an intelligent system and that we have to work um, with symbiosis like all species uh we think about competition and it's all about cooperation right so yeah um coming down from the pedestal and just having some humbleness that we are not the most intelligent guys and <laughs> we need to learn from 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 nature because we are part of nature and and the second one is uh, maximizing photosynthesis so how to um, harvest sunlight better because uh, we have many stories and layers in the forest and each plant likes sunlight in um, different levels so we generally think oh this plant uh all plants like sunlight in the same in the same way but some like more the shade others like more sunlight and you can have like up to 16 layers in the forest uh, so you have the third principle which is diversity uh we generally when we got problems either it's in raising animals or trees when you lose diversity things like start to complicate because you have less of a a genetic um that the genomes they start to become less um diverse and that brings um a whole lot of problems so then you have density which is like um when nature it it throws like a, a tree throws seeds it doesn't throw like one or two it throws hundreds and thousands of seeds uh so we need density as well as diversity not not <laughs> monoculture like one species and not like having um too much of or, or just like a lot of species but no uh density you need both principles so they work together and then we got operation which is yeah understanding that we are working um in a community and a whole ecosystem and then we have um oh i can't remember all of those by head uh abundance is the principle so when you're following all these principles you you have abundance in the end uh lots of food for everybody and for all the animals and and for the fungi in the soil and the bacteria everybody's happy we got stratification, which is um, all the, the layers in the forest. So when you have a stratified forest, everybody's in their own level or layer that they really like to uh, enjoy. So, so yeah, I don't know if I mentioned all the, the 10 principles, but I can, I can, I can send Drake a, a sheet and he'll post that in the hey. community. Yeah, and uh, the most important part is to grow good, valuable things like coffee in the understory. Yeah, for sure, and cacao. Yeah. Get your pile tax on point, you know, so that way your tree roots don't get cupped in the soil, all that, so. <laughs> if you're in Brazil, look up Pedro, teach you a lot. <sighs> so, but then I had like, some other I was looking at some of these more questions. Thank you, Willie. Rock on. <laughs> uh, one master to another. So uh, I'm not sure about breakdown of seashells. I mean, I know you can try uh, oyster shell flour and that could work out. So, I mean, I'm certain maybe some seashells maybe have a little bit of chitin you know, with, cause, you know, with the crab shells and stuff like that. So I'm not sure about don't really i mean i don't live near the ocean but so i don't have access to many seashells so um 
Let's see. We got Daniel in the room. Where oh, we man. <laughs> I want to be like you when I grow up, dude. <laughs> so, um, what else do we got? Daniel from Canada. <clears throat> uh, Ishmael Forest Farming is Daniel. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Your neighbor. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. Aloha, Daniel. Uh, yeah, so, so one good thing is, you know, here here in the, um, you know, this office hour, a bunch of students have taken the class now and then tuning in and helping each other kind of in this session of getting to know each other. It's pretty, pretty awesome to see. Um, you know, sometimes Thomas is here from Florida and he has different advice. And like, you know, someone that's like... Uh, you've taken this class, you kind of know more about the whys of things, and um, you're a little more wise. <laughs> That's kind of funny, I don't know where play, not to like beat you guys up or anything, but it's it's nice that, um, you know, 